Let's take the slick new Siri animation we made in the last video and make it interactive in a Figma prototype. Let's dive in. All right, here we are in After Effects, and this is the animation we created in the previous video, which I'll link up above. We have the lock button being pressed in right here, a little color coming in, and then a gradient burst across the screen. We have a little bit of warping on those numbers right there. And then we have the gradient appearing along the edge, and there's some subtle movement on that. You can see it kind of going around. And now what we want to do is take this and put it into a Figma prototype so it can actually be interactive. Let's do that now. First thing we want to do is actually get rid of all of this iPhone stuff, the bezel and the background, and we just need a black background for this, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're just going to fade off uh, the stroke so that we have nothing. So what we're going to do is lay down a transparency keyframe, go back 300 milliseconds, lay down another one, and fade it down to zero. And then we're going to cap off the video. What we're going to do is export this as a GIF. And because it has a 100% black background, we can use a blending mode to actually overlay this onto a Figma prototype. So we're going to use GIF Gun for this. We'll go into the settings. And what we want to make sure is that we don't want to resize it. We'll just export it to the project folder. Uh, frame rate 50 is fine. Colors is fine. And we want to make sure that infinite loop is unchecked because we want this to just play one time when we trigger it. And that's it. So we have that set. We're going to hit Make GIF. It's going to render out. All right. And now we have our GIF mocked up. And this is what it looks like here. So we're going to get into Figma. And we're going to drop this in right here. And in Figma, we already have mocked up a little iPhone screen with the bezel, all that good stuff. And we're just going to bring this GIF and put it in here. And right now, it's not looking great. So we need to actually change the blending mode to lighten. And in order to see how it's working, we can actually scrub through in this GIF to make sure that we can actually see what's going on. So that we've scrubbed through, we can see that we're clipping at the end, move it underneath the bezels to be right on top of the image, knock it back just a tad, center it up, and we're looking pretty good. So now what we want to do is make sure that when we click this, we trigger the GIF. So we're going to go ahead and remove it from that first frame, go into prototyping mode, select this frame, drag, click over here. And when we click it, it's going to instantly show this frame, play the GIF, and then fade out to zero. So we have our prototype set up, and we're going to hit preview, and we're going to click it. And boom. And now we're seeing this nice Siri animation in our Figma prototype. You can see that the color is not as vibrant and smooth as in After Effects. That's because we're using a GIF and doing a blending mode. So things are a little bit less saturated. One option would be to darken the colors in After Effects before you export it to make sure those colors are showing up a little bit better. But you can see that you can see we're able to take this animation we made in After Effects. that's very high fidelity and use it in Figma as a GIF very, very quickly. And that's how you use your After Effects animations inside of Figma and make them interactive. Catch y'all next time.